was next to you. You said, baby, don't be mad. Guys, what if I told you this was a wig? This is a U part wig I got off of Amazon and I just styled and cut it and everything. But this is the fit. This top black sweatpants and my socks. Mm. I'm eating chocolate. Anyways, hey y'all. So, why am I out of breath? I'm about to pack right now because I'm going to a Christmas light show or like this huge thing in the forest or something. And it's like two hours away. So I'm about to pack because we're staying in a hotel for the night and then coming back home the next day. So yeah, so I'm about to pack and this is what I'm wearing today. This long sleeve black shirt, yoga pants, fuzzy socks and sneakers. And I got this whole entire outfit off of Amazon except for the shoes. Wait, yeah, okay. And then also my package just came in. I got this like fuzzy um, set off of Amazon and it's a cardigan, a tank top and some pants. I'm about to try it on. It's not really what I expected, like the color and the material. I thought it was gonna be like a teddy bear. Like y'all know what I'm talking about? Like this, like, oops. Like this type of material, that's what it was advertised as. So I'm a little disappointed, but hopefully it'll look cute on. But anyway, yeah, let's try this on and then I'm gonna pack and then yeah. Okay, this is what it looks like on. Let's take some off. I'm not impressed at all. I'm not gonna lie, like, I don't like it. I would have liked it better if it was a color that I actually wanted. Like, this is, it was supposed to be a dark gray. This looks like a, like a purple. Like it's grossing me out. I don't like purple. So yeah. Um, this is going to be only worn in the house. Which I'm sick about. Because I wanted something that I could wear outside. But maybe it will grow on me or something. But yeah. It looks like it's just going to be worn in the house. Or if I have to go to the store real quick. But if I'm going somewhere cute. I'm not wearing this. Well, yeah. So, like, a lounge outfit in the house or if I want to run errands. You know, where I'm not really going to see anybody. I'm watching my girl Aaliyah's face. And I am packed and ready to go. I'm not going to bring my camera, though, by the way. But I'll vlog some montage footage on my phone. But yeah. Before I forget, before I forget, let me show y'all. Look what I got myself yesterday. The tote bag by Marc Jacobs. I've been wanting this bag for a few months now, like since the summertime. I was in Nordstrom's yesterday and I saw it and there was only like three left. And the lady was like, yeah, everybody's snatching them up. And I was like, mm, I don't know. Do I really want to spend 200 something on a bag? And I was like, just get it for yourself, Phoenix. Like, I've been doing good. I've been working hard. Like, why not treat myself? So, I got myself the Marc Jacobs bag. This is the first luxury bag that I have that I bought myself. So, I'm like super proud of myself. And I'm happy because now I don't need to get myself another for Christmas. This is what I got myself for Christmas. Fur. Isn't she so pretty? But yeah, I'm about to watch my show. Light me a little candle. 
and relax while i do my nails i'm about to watch youtube an ipad is the best thing that has happened to me like i freaking love my ipad anyways Aaliyah is doing a vlogmas i'm so excited i did not like the thing is i didn't think my favorite creators were gonna do vlogmas because they already upload so much already i feel like they wouldn't want to stress them out themselves out but Aaliyah's doing vlogmas and kyra and like just everybody that i love on here is doing vlogmas um i started watching i already watched hers yesterday i started where's my oh i started watching I started watching Taylor Hope Vlogmas, so I'm gonna finish that. I'm just a chilling at home so I just got done with my nails um I'm like okay with them um it's, this hand I think looks great I'll show you guys a better angle but this hand is not my favorite and I did this hand first so I feel like that's probably why you know a trial and error and I haven't worn extensions in like a month or two I've just been doing my natural nails so I'm a little disappointed because I'm like, oh, I was so excited because I'm finally wearing nails and it didn't come out exactly how I wanted it. Like I said, this hand, like I'm happy with this hand, but this hand. But anyways, I did some rhinestones and then um, I just need to wash my hands because I have a lot of fluff on them. I did some rhinestones and then I did a Santa hat. Let me just show you guys. you see yeah so I did some rhinestones and then I did a Santa hat for the um, the accent nail see this hand is really cute like I love the Santa hat I feel like if I did all rhinestones it would have been too much so those are my Christmas nails well one of my Christmas nails I'll be doing these over before Christmas but yeah this is what I got <laughs> y'all look how cute these treats are that i got from target doggy treats so i'm about to give him one but i just wanted to show you guys how cute they are good morning guys i just woke up it is 9 51 and i'm getting ready for my pilates class this morning so i'm gonna go through my skincare my winter skincare with you guys and then what outfit I'm gonna pick and stuff like that and then I'll be going out later with my friends so you guys will see me get ready for that as well so where is my oh. well first we're just gonna start with Cetaphil and cleanse my face also I have to be at the house by 10 30 because I have to go to Target to get some grippy socks because that's what is required for the class and I don't have any so yeah
Again, very quick things. Like I said, I'm on a time crunch. Now I'm gonna go in with my toner from Eve's Bees. I did a collaboration with them and I really love their products. Just do some toner. So usually after my serums and stuff, I'll go in with um, my jade roller, but it's in my room and I don't feel like getting it. Okay. Now I'm going to go in with my Cetaphil lotion. After my Cetaphil, I will put on my sunscreen, but I am going to redo my skincare routine um, when I get back home. So. I'll just put this on the screen on the second time around. Alright, so now I'm going to brush my teeth. And then I'll be back to show you guys my outfit. Okay, so here is the fit. I'm wearing these gray sweatpants. And they're loose at the bottom. I love pants like this, like... I want all my pants to be, well, like my sweatpants and yoga pants. I want all of them to be like this. Like, I love it. And then I have a gray sweatshirt to match. And I'm going to wear a black shirt underneath just in case I get hot so I could take it off. It's going to be like a um, black crop top. But, um, yeah, that's what we're working with. Um, so, yeah, I'm about to get dressed and do my hair. And while I'm doing that, I'm about to watch some Vlogmas. Also, I won't be recording the, well, recording the class with my camera or anything like that. Because I don't want to make anybody uncomfortable. Um, yeah, I just don't think a workout class is something I should record. Um, so I'm going to do montage footage so you guys will see what it looks like inside. And I try to get as much footage as I can with my phone. But, um, yeah. Mm. Alright guys, I just finished my Pilates class. Oh, oh. <laughs> and it went ooh, look at my leave out job. And it went really well. It was an intro class, so it wasn't anything too serious or you know, anything like that. It was really fun, super scary at first, not even gonna lie, like doing the machines. I just felt like I was gonna <laughs> lose my um my grip and then just slam if you do pilates you know what i'm talking about and if you're gonna do pilates then you'll know what i'm talking about but anyway it was super duper fun um and it was a really nice intro class and it was black owned i'm pretty sure it was nothing but black women the instructor was black women which was really cool the vibes were so cute i'm gonna insert some clips i couldn't really get much but Hey y'all, just wanted to show you guys my outfit for ice skating. I'm wearing, I had this outfit on earlier in the vlog, so um, mind your business. But um, I have one black, uh, what do you call these, yoga pants, white fuzzy socks, my New Balances. These are not New Balance Hirachis. <laughs> this um, sculpted jacket a black shirt and then i have a black tank top underneath the black shirt 
and that's it and then I have my gloves and I'll be wearing my clutch also I got and the thing is it feels it feels really good outside like I just went outside and it feels good and I kind of want to I don't know I kind of want to take my undershirt off because I feel like I'm going to be too hot but knowing me and also we're going to be near the harbor which is water which is going to be colder but I get cold really easily so I should probably just keep the the um tank top on is this mine yeah okay so let's open up this package so I can show you guys what I got I probably shouldn't have this on my bed, but. Okay, so I got some finger gloves, so I don't have to wear full gloves. I can just put them over my fingers when I'm doing nails. I thought that was so cute. This packaging is just super cute. These are um, stiletto extensions. I ran out of some, so I got some more gel stiletto extensions. I got two Beatles color. If you're a nail tech, Beatles nail polish is A1. So yeah, I got two of those, uh, white and brown. Hold on. Hello? All right, I'm coming. Okay, bye. 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 Okay, I gotta go. But one more thing. I'll open it when I get back home, but I got this nude rug and it matches my throw blanket, this one right here, and I'm super excited. Anyway, I gotta go. Bye guys. Hey y'all, so I just came back inside the house. It is now 11, 18. Um, I didn't record much. I didn't record nothing at all. <laughs> I said today I was like, oh, I'm going to record me going out with my friends and me doing my makeup and getting ready. And it just didn't work out like that. Also, it was kind of like impractical to record ice skating because one, I didn't think they would let me bring my camera on the ice because I feel like that's a safety hazard. Slipping and falling and all that stuff with the camera, like I don't want to do that. And then two... There was, it was like really cute decorations and stuff, but nothing to really vlog vlog. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it just, it wasn't much to vlog, but I still had fun and stuff. Like we had winter dinner and stuff like that. So yeah, it was just a live in the moment type of thing. You know, I don't have to vlog everything. I'm allowed to live in the moment. Anyways. I'm going to open up this carpet for you guys. I'm a little stressed out because I like I'm trying to figure out my vlogmas schedule. Um and I just feel like me not recording today kind of messed everything up. I'm trying not to freak out about it. Like I really do want to do two videos a week and I am. I need to relax. And also I have a video in my back pocket that I need to I uploaded but deleted so I could always re-upload that. Anyways, I left off um, opening up Amazon packages and I didn't open up my rug. Ugh. I get everything off of Amazon. What? This little ass. Nah, because I'm about to spaz. Okay. This is the what the rug looks like. The same, like, type of rug as a bathroom rug, right? Let me show you. My phone just... Okay. Let me show you what it looks like on Amazon. And let me know in the comments if I'm tripping. Because maybe I'm tripping. But this is not the size that I thought it would be like I feel like I got I got played it's 
Nah, actually, I think I'm just stupid. <laughs> I ordered the smallest size rug. Anyway, this is what the rug, that's the size that I wanted. I probably should have checked. Yeah, that was a, that was a two by three. Cause the one that I got was $20 and the rest was like 30, $40. I didn't want to spend that much. Okay. Damn. That's my fault, bro. I'm so disappointed. Like everybody just shut up right now. <laughs> what the heck? Like this is giving very much bathrobe rug. Like I wanted a surface area rug. Like I'm gonna still put it down and see. Anyways, I'm about to um, edit this video right now. I hope it's long enough, child. Ooh, I hope it's long enough. I don't know. See, that's the thing about Vlogmas. Like, the videos aren't going to always be, like, that super long. Because people... Oh, that's what I wanted to talk about. Like, I'm kind of my feelings because, like, people are really going all out for Vlogmas this year. Like, people... Like, I didn't think people would be doing the everyday Vlogmas, like, stuff. But people are posting every single day. And I feel kind of left out. Excuse you. Are you sick? What? Move. He is ripping up a cheeseburger bag. I don't know from where because I don't eat cheeseburgers from fast food no more. Anyways. Anyways. Um, but everybody is uploading like every day. I'm just like, I feel kind of left out. Like, I want to upload every day. Like, I'm doing Vlogmas, but I feel like I'm just not doing, like, I don't know. Like, Vlogmas is so exciting. It's every single day until Christmas. And now I'm, like, feeling kind of left out. Like, I want to do every day. But realistically, it's just not going to happen. Like, I would have had to start, like, a month early. Like, it's just, I work a job. I come home and I work. I do nails. I work on my business. And to juggle YouTube and stuff, like, every day, that's just too much. Also, I don't do nothing. Like, if I were to record every day, uh, excuse me, I don't do enough stuff every day. I do the same routine. I'm not no full-time content creator. I go to work. I go to work, stay there all day, come home. If I don't have clients, I'm relaxing. Y'all don't want to see that every day. Literally, that would be just, it would just be the same thing. Um, also, doing all that and then coming home and record, I mean, editing the whole entire thing and putting it up that day, that is just stressful. And I just, I don't need any more stress. I don't. So. Um, let me put this rug down and I'm going to show y'all what it looked like. Actually, let me show y'all something real quick. Hold on. My rug looks crusty, mind your business, but I got this big old circle rug, right? That's what I thought. Ooh. Oh. What you mad for? Boy. Oh. Anyways. I have this big old like circle rug. And that's how big I want it to be. I'm about to replace this. This looks so dirty. Like I swear it does not look this dirty in real life. I literally just washed this thing. What the heck? Anyway. Anyways. I'm about to put the nude carpet down and I'll let you guys see what it looks like can you see by my face how I feel about that damn rug y'all oh my god it didn't cover nothing first of all it don't even look like the color in the picture second of all it matches too much with my rug it's dang near the same color I'm so sick I spent $20 on that rug that little itty bitty rug I'm sick. No, you have to understand because I was so excited. I was so excited for for my rug to come in. I hate that. Like when I'm super excited about something and I get disappointed. Like, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Because this was the plan. I wanted my room to be like white and nude. I used to be a white and pink girl. I'm not no more. I want white and nude. Oh my gosh. Now I just feel like everything's a mess. My room is ruined. 
clock out. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that rug. I don't know. I'm sick. Ooh, I'm gonna need to take some deep breaths. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm sick. Like, y'all don't understand, I was so excited, I was hyped. But they give me this big old rug, it's about to be so cute and I'm about to feel so brand new. No. Like, literally, there's nowhere for this rug to go. That was such a huge disappointment, like, that was crazy. That was my fault. I probably should have checked the measurements. But the, but the picture, it don't look like the color. I need to get started on editing because I'm not trying to be up on it. I feel myself getting tired. Bye, y'all. Anyways, let me just end this vlog here. Bye, guys. Thank you for watching another day of Vlogmas with me. I'm so happy that you guys liked the first one. And I really hope you guys like this one. I love, love, love when you guys interact with me and are interactive, engaged, comments like I freaking love it. It makes my YouTuber heart so happy. So please, let's do good on this video. And I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We're on the road to 1K. Right now, we are at... Sorry if the camera is wobbling. I'm sleep drunk. Right now, we are at 900. Th Can you see that? Oh, now they tell my business. Move Instagram. <laughs> what the heck? Move. Anyway, we're at 932 subscribers. We're going to hit a thousand. I'm going to say it right now. We're hitting a thousand by the end of the month. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. I already am planning out how I'm going to celebrate and everything. It's going to happen. That will be the best Christmas gift of all. A thousand subscribers. Big money. Alright. Bye guys. I will see you guys in my next video.